Session 2, Production Planning and Controlling, Exercise Preparing the Master Data. First, uh, we need to look at the business scenario for this case study, uh, as you see in the screen and also you have in your notes. Um, we need to create uh, a master record for a motorcycle, which is using two components, the engine and a frame. The engine itself is made of, of an engine block and a camshaft. So then you will have to create five material master records in all, along with an overall bill of material and two routings. Uh, as you see in the screen, the bill of material that you will need to create is uh, shown here, which we have the, motor the motorcycle as a finished product. The motorcycle is composed by an engine and a frame, and the engine itself is composed by an, uh, an engine block and a camshaft. Then, uh, now that we know the business scenario, uh, we need to go to our SAP application. Once that you have login, uh, we'll start with the exercise. As it says in the page number four, uh, we need to create the material master record for the motorcycle as a finished product. So first, uh, we need to go to, uh, in the Easy Assets menu, uh, go to Logistics, Material Management, uh, Material Master, then it's Material, Create a Special, and Finished Product, which is also the transaction MMF1. Okay, once we are here, we have to put in the material the name, which is B, Motorcycle, Remember to change your two digital numbers here with your own ID. Each student has their own ID. In this case, I'm using the ID 98. And this is the uh, idea that I'm going to be using for the whole exercises. Uh, okay, then it says that we need to choose the industry sector. We click here and we choose mechanical engineering. Alright, and okay, rather than using an existing material, we, we will create a new material for, for this one. So that's all that we need to put in this class screen. So we click enter, and then we have to choose the views. So the exercise says that we need to select basic data one, basic data two views, and sales entries, the three of them. Uh, the MRP, the four processes, um, work scheduling, accounting one and two, and costing one and two. Then we click here and continue, and then uh, it asks you to put uh, the plant storage location. Um, okay, for this uh, exercise, we're going to use the plant, which is the plant 1000. The storage location is the storage location 0001. And um, sales organization is 1000 also, and the distribution channel that we are using is a uh, 10. Okay, we click on enter and then uh, we have the views that we have selected. So now we have to fill some data uh, on each of these views. So first we have the basic data one. In the base, uh, basic data one, uh, the field based unit of measure is a mandatory field, so uh, we need to select here pieces. Remember that we can use uh, the options for help, which is F1 and F4. In this case, I'm going to press F4, and it gives me an overview of all the entries that uh, you can put on, on this field. Uh, for this uh, measurement unit, we are going to use pieces, so we need to look 
where are the pieces which is here we select it. then um, we are going to use a uh, cross division as the division so we have division here so we press F4 again and we see that the 0, 0 is the cross division we select it and then uh, it says that uh, the motorcycle has a gross weight of uh, 441 pounds so we need to put the gross weight as 441 and we need to change the unit for pounds US pounds again we, uh, we press F4 if we don't know what to put uh, and we see that it's LB uh, the net weight of the motorcycle is 397 and the volume is the uh, uh, 50 cubic feet so the volume is 50 and the volume unit and um, we need to put cubic foot which is FT3 and then we choose enter okay uh, well uh, as you see we have a, a, a mistake here that the system has uh, warning us that we, we need to make an entry in all the required fields and of course well uh, I have missed to put the description of the of the material the description of this uh, motorcycle will be B motorcycle 98 okay then we press enter and we are in the uh, uh, basic data to view this one uh, we're going to press enter because we're going to skip it and then uh, we are in the cells one view in this view uh, we have to enter the delivering plant which is here and the delivering plant is uh, where Hamburg so as you know there are two options to, to introduce this uh, the information here we can put directly the number that uh, we have it on the exercises or as usual we can press F4 and we can see all the options that we have here and we select uh, where Hamburg then um, we need to uh, say that the, the tax units of tax will the classification field of tax is the number one that is full tax this uh, classification field is located here actually it's a bit hidden so uh, you have to be careful so if we open this one we see that is the tax classification as well we can press F4 and we see that number one is full tax which is the classification that we need okay um, then uh, we select enter we finish with this view we select uh, in the cells view number two we don't need to put anything so we skip it and we are going until this uh, view that is sales general plant in this one uh, the motorcycle is transported as a load for truck so we need to put this one in um, the loading manual which is um, transported ok transported group and the loading group so we press the 4 and it's a lot for truck the, which is the transaction 0005 we select it and the loading is manual the, the loading group we, put, uh, we press F4 and manual is the 0003 we select it and that's it for this view we press enter and then we are in the MRP uh, number one view in this one uh, we need to use the MRP type MRP which is the, P, uh, the code PD 
so we look here an MRP type HPD and the MRP controller is 001 and then in the order quantity for the um, for the exercise okay the order quantity is here so the um, okay in the lot size we press F4 and we say that is a uh, lot for lot or the quantity which is EX alright then we press enter and we are going to the MRP to view which we need to enter the procurement type which is in-house production we press F4 and in-house production is the letter E and then the production storage location which is material ledger 001 and the in-house production time is 10 days in-house production time we say that is 10 days and the scheduling margin key is 001 remember if you don't know what uh, uh, what means any of these concepts you can press F1 and will give you an overview uh, what it's about alright we close this window and we continue with the exercise so the MRP2 view is complete we go to the MRP3 and we have to create a total uh, replenishment lead time of 15 days which is here okay, 15 days that's all that we need to do in this view we go to the MRP4 we skip it, we don't need to put anything there uh, work scheduling we skip it also and then we go into accounting one in this view, um, we have to enter the evaluation class finish and, as finished products. So, uh, the evaluation category, no, evaluation uh, class, sorry, is finished products. And the number is uh, 7920. And a standard price as a price control which is S already but anyway you want to check it you press F4 and you see that S is for the standard price and we are going to use a temporary parameter value of uh, 1500 at the standard price so the standard price is 1500 ok we press enter Accounting to we press enter, we skip it, and then the costing one view. We have to select the um, material origin box, which is this box. We have to tick it, and then here we are gonna uh, select additional data to display the additional data, and in the second row of the description view. We're gonna put uh, the country key, which is DP, it's belonging to Germany. And as material description, we're gonna put B, Motorrad, and uh, your number. Remember to always put your number. Okay, that uh, we have finished to create the finished product, the motorcycle. So here where we press enter to confirm the data we're going to the main data and we save it 
now uh, we have uh, displayed the system uh, a message that it says that the material has been created. Okay, we keep okay. And this is how we have created the motorcycle, the first products. Okay, just hold a second here. Okay, once we have finished, um, you can check uh, if the material that uh, you have created is right. So for that one, uh, we can use uh, the transaction which is MM03 or also uh, if you want to follow uh, all the three, all the SAP EC access menu, you have to go to uh, Logistic, Material Management, Material Master, Material. Instead of Create, we are going to Display. And Display Current, which is the same transaction that I put here. So it's the same way to call it, either putting it in here or going to the menu. Okay, we, we see that we have uh, the, just the product well, we have created there. We click Enter, we select the views, the same views uh, as we choose when we were creating the the, the products. Okay, so we select all the all the views and then we have to put all the details again, so is the plant is 1000, the storage location is 0061, um, we put as well the sales organization, which is 1000 also, and the distribution channel, which is 10. And then we can check if all the details that we have put in here are correct. We can check all the all the windows, all, all the views. Uh, here we can go directly to the view that we want. And, uh, well, this is the way to check it. We are going back. And also, uh, well, if you realize that you have made any uh, mistake, you can call the transaction MM02. And this one, uh, in, in this view, you can correct, uh, you have to go and put all the data as we did previously. At least, well, at least we need to select one view. And then we can make the changes here uh, accordingly if you have ma made any mistakes. Okay, so basically we have finished with the, the first part of the exercises, which is uh, creating the finished product. Now we have finished with the motorcycle, we are going to create the material master record for the engine. The engine is a semi-finished product, so therefore uh, we need to uh, use another transaction. To create this material, we are going to go to uh, Logistics, Material Master, Material, Create, Special, and Semi-Finished Product, which is the transaction MMB1. Alright, uh, here the material that we are going to create is, we are going to call it B, iPhone engine and um, our number. The industrial sector it will be mechanical engineering, which is already there. And um, in this case, we are going to copy this material from a, a material which is already on the system. So we are going to uh, put in the field copy from the template which is on the exercise which is the one three zero zero iPhone one one ten. Alright.
so we click enter we need to select the views we're gonna select the basic data one and two we're gonna select purchasing the four MRPs uh, work scheduling again accounting one and costing one okay we need to check every time that we're doing that that uh, this box is ticket that create views selected otherwise we are not, not going to create the views once what we have done that uh, we click on enter and we're going to use uh, what well, we're going to fill the information as the information that we will use it that is the plant 1000 the storage location is one and we need to put these details in the copy from that's important to remember so it's for the 1000 plant and the storage location is the 001 okay we click on enter and Okay, well, I realized that I have made a mistake, which I'm going to uh, fix it uh, when I finish that one, I'm going to come back. The mistake that I have done is, well, I misspell it in giant here, which is not a real problem for the uh, purpose of this exercise. Anyway, I'm going to fix it later, on, and I'm going to show you how, how it is done as well. Meantime, let's uh, continue with the exercise. Okay, in the description for this one, we have to put the engine check that <laughs> now is correct and the number which is 98 we need to assign the uh, division which is cross division also is the 002 but anyway let's check it on the, with f4 uh, okay and then We are going to select enter. And we have this one. Basically, it's just uh, give enter to any. We're going to leave the details as, as there are. We're not going to change any more details here. We, um, we press. Uh, enter with any method that uh, they're gonna give us and just checking that everything is filled and at the end we're gonna select save and we have created our material um, material master okay so far we have created the uh, material master record for the motorcycle which is a finished product also we create the semi-finished products uh, which was the engine and um, the frame now uh, we have to create a material master record for the engine block which is raw material for that one uh, we have to go to the uh, transaction MMR1 or uh, follow the easy access menu which will be uh, logistics, material management material master, material, create a special, and uh, raw material. Okay, so once here uh, we have to put the material which wanna be the block if and your number, minus 98, uh, the industrial sector is mechanical engineering, it's already there, and uh, we choose enter and we select the views we're gonna select basic data one and two um, purchasing mrp the four of them and accounting one and costing one okay we click enter and then we're gonna put the organizational levels which is the plant um, 
the plant is the plant is Hamburg, so we're gonna use the plant that is 1000. But if you want to check it, we can go to F4, and this is the plant, we're Hamburg. The storage location, uh, we can do the same. Uh, the storage location has to be material ledger, which is the 0001. And it's that one. We select it. And um, we press enter, and we have the views. So we have to follow, uh, to fill uh, some data of, on each of these tabs. So let's start with the basic data one. Uh, which is going to put the description, which is B and giant block 98. Uh, the base unit of measure we're going to use it is uh, pieces, PC, and the material group is a um, metal processing. So we press F4. And we see metal processing is the first one. Then the engine block is also available cross division. So in the division, we're going to put cross division, which is 0, 0, but we can check it. Press in F4, and there it is. We select enter. We skip basic data too. And we are going to um, to the purchasing view. We have to select the purchasing group, which is uh, Mr. Ditto. So we press F4, and we see uh, okay is the second data here. So it's Ditto B, and it's 001. Uh, this is all that we need to do here. Then we're going to the MRP1, and we have to select the MRP type, which is MRP. So we look at here, and it's MRP PD. The MRP controller, we're going to choose the 001, and the lot size. is lot for lot order quantity which is EX for the MRP to view just hold a second here it's so, okay I was having a, a little problem here in the MRP one view so let's do it again uh, uh, MRP one view uh, we put uh, the description we have it there, and then we have to select the MRP type, which is MRP, and the code is PV. The MRP controller is 001, and the um, lot size is lot for lot order quantity which is EX ok we press enter and then in the MRP2 view uh, we have to enter the storage location which is the storage location 0001 material ledger and uh, we have to put in the storage location for EP ok we have to uh, select always black black plus so always black plus is the number one but anyway we check it with f4 
and uh, ensures that the goods movement is posted automatically once the production order has been confirmed. That's why uh, we need the uh, backlash. As you see, if we press F1, we have a definition of the indicator, what it means. Okay, we close this window and we continue with the exercise. Um, the plan of delivery time is two days. There are no float times, scheduling marking key. So the scheduling marking key there are not, so is zero zero zero. And we have done this view. We are going to the MRP tree view. And we have to specify that the availability check is going to be carried out of uh, daily requirements. So for that, we press F4 again, and we see the daily requirements are zero one. We press Enter. We skip the next view, and we're going to a counting one. In the counting one, we have to select the uh, valuation class as a raw material one. We press F4, raw material one, which is the 3000. And we have to enter a moving average price. This 349.50. Okay, we press enter, and in the costing one view, we have to select um, this material origin box. Okay, so we tick it, we tick the indicator, and that's it, we have created as well our uh, material master for the block. So we save it and the system will inform that the material is created. Uh, okay, so uh, now we have to create the last product which is the camshaft. It's also raw material so therefore we're going to use the same transaction. So we say that now the material is going to be B Camshaft. Uh, let me see that this the spelling is correct. Eh? And I find and your number. My number is the 98. Mechanical engineering. Um, we click enter and select the views, which is going to be basic data one and two. Purchasing. MRP the four of them. Uh, accounting one and costing one. We press enter and we're going to put the plant, which is the 1000, the store location, which is 0001. We press enter and we have to fill the, the, uh, all the data into the views as the previous uh, material that we have created. So in the basic data one, uh, we have to put the description, which is B, camshaft, and 98. Then the base unit of measure is PC, the other pieces, the material group is 001 then the division is cross division that's it in this view we click enter and we're going to the uh, where we skip basic data too we're going to purchasing the purchasing group is uh, Mr. Dipo, which is 001, and that's it. Then we're going to the MRP1, 
and the MRT, MRP type is PD. The MRP controller is 001. The lot size is EX, which is a lot for lot order quantity. Um, we have done the MRP1 view. We're going to do the MRP2. Then we have to uh, fill the production store as location with 001. The store as location 14. It is the same. Then a uh, back flush. We say that is always back flush, which is number one. Planet delivery time is two days also. And the scheduling marking key, the margin key is, uh, well, we say that it's none, so it's zero, zero, zero. And that's it for this view. MRP3, just we need to put the availability check, which is here, and is 0, 01. That is on daily requirements. Going to the MRP4, we skip it, put the center, and the accounting one view. Uh, we have to put the evaluation class, which is 3000 also. The price control is in B, which is moving average price. Therefore, we need to put the moving price, and in this case, it's 89.95. Enter, and the last view is um, costing one, and just here we have to select this indicator, material origin. And that's it. We save it, and we have created the uh, five material master record that we need. This is the end of the exercise preparing the master data.